Hans Warm Hat. This is kind of a follow-up to my last video. And I just want to talk about just some shared experiences that we have. And I want to make a point that literally anyone out there right now who's a real human, a real legitimate human, anybody could make a channel that's a million times more interesting than anything that the bigger transvestigation, YouTube shills, anybody who's still talking about famous people, anytime that somebody brings up, oh, hey, Hans, can you transvestigate this person? I just block them because you're too asleep for this channel. They're just shills, honestly. Most of them are just shills trying to waste my time. And I think some of them just know that that annoys me at this point, so they think it's funny. Oh, I'm going to go send Hans a comment telling him to transvestigate somebody. Because I think that if you're still watching a channel that's busting celebrities, that's busting people in the news, why are you even watching the news? Why do you even still care about people in government? It's all a big tranny freak show. What I think is really important is talking about our personal lives, talking about these trannies in our personal lives, talking about our personal stories, because we all share the same story. We all have very similar stories. And these stories are things that they never sat right with us when they happened, but it's, it's when you're in the middle of it, you can't tell what's going on. You can't see the forest for the trees because you're just surrounded by these tears and they're all playing the same little jokes on you. And us regular humans have never gotten together before until recently to be able to share our stories and be like, hey, none of this has ever been right. So I'm just going to read some comments. Somebody just left me this comment saying, I forgot to mention that they, you know, the trannies, they always wear the same stupid clothes and start the next stupid trend simultaneously. Yeah, have you always noticed that? That people always buy into all the trends. How did they get everybody in the 80s to wear ridiculous shoulder pads? It's because you're surrounded by a bunch of trannies who just accept it. Nobody ever put their foot down and said, hey, I'm not wearing that garbage because there's just too many of them. They're always able to sway the public because they are the public. They are the bulk of the population. That's how they're always able to control it. You go into men's clothing sections and the jeans, look at the jean sizes. The waists are huge. And men's jeans, I always have absurd amount of room in my pockets. It's crazy how much room there are in the pockets of my jeans because there's this huge billowy area for hips because that's what FTM do is they pull their pants up over their female hips and so they make the pants for the FTM. F real females, they'll always complain about the jeans don't fit them right. It's because the jeans are made for MTF trannies. So yeah, somebody just left me that comment. They always, they always right away move on to the next trend and it keeps you in that paradigm of you got to keep up with the Joneses, keep got to keep up with the trannies, you got to keep slaving away at your nine to five so that you can buy a whole new outfit and it all's just built to fall apart and you move on to the next trendy thing. And this reminds me of middle school, how they, the trannies, they always seem to know the same little jokes. They always seem to know the same the same, I don't know, just tranny land stuff. It's like, wh who comes up with this stuff? I know that middle schoolers aren't the ones coming up with the new trend. So somebody's teaching it to them. And yeah, that's it for that comment. I'll just go and read some more. This is, somebody has been recently kind of sending me some very interesting messages. And I think it's another real man, very rare, but we have a lot of similar stories. And this one says that now that he's been waking up, people treat you differently. And it's true. So here, I'll just read some of this. Uh, yesterday, a coworker started laughing at me because my torso is much longer than his. But it's not a him. It's an FTM. And even though I'm six foot, my pant length is 30. He is much shorter with a third. He is much shorter with a 30 pant length. So odd that he would bother bringing that up. Like, why? My arms hang straight and I suppose my ears are attached lower. So this was just a, somebody who I think is a real man sending me a message. Who would even bring that up? This is another tranny land thing. It seems like the trannies, they all know these little subjects to bring up. Like, why would a man even bring up their pant length? It's such a strange thing. And this is so true about the pant length. 30 is like the shortest pant length that you can even find out there. 
So I'm shorter than six foot, and my pants are always way too long. It's because females have leggy proportions. FTM have leggy proportions. So jeans have long legs for, you know, alleged men. But that's not right. And the shirts are always so short on me. If I lift my arms up, it exposes my belly because the shirts are made for these short torsoed FTM. So, yeah, what a strange thing, right? Why would a man bring up, oh, your, your pant leg is only 30, 30 inches? It actually reminds me of the Seinfeld episode where – Seinfeld is bragging about, oh, I still I still wear a 30-inch waist or something. The FTM like to brag about being able to keep a small waist because some of the FTM, if they don't go on and carry a, ch- a child, if they have good tranny genetics, they never go through a, a female puberty so they can keep the smaller waist. But it turns out in this Seinfeld episode – that Seinfeld was buying 32 jeans but scratching the two off and making it a zero. What type of a man would be so vain to do something like that? It's an FTM trying to be proud of keeping their waist smaller, but they couldn't even. They were lying about it. They're liars. Here's another comment from the same person. Um, Just very similar to me. They used to be closer to their brother, but then once they woke up, then now they never talk anymore. And I have another real male who had the same thing. He he was in the Marines, and he said that his Marine buddies would always text him at least once a year, you know, hey, how's it going for your birthday or whatever. But once he woke up to the transpocalypse, they stopped contacting him. And it's not like he even talked to his friends about it. They just – they hear through the tranny grapevine, oh, so-and-so knows about the trannies, and they just – they'll cut you off. So it's very strange. And uh, just another comment from this person, they fake fights. So there was a bizarre fight between uh, between his Rex bro's wife and his ex-girlfriend at a family gathering. And he even knew it seemed staged at the time. And the way that everybody reacts and it's so dramatic and odd in hindsight. So yeah, that's trannies, they all act the same. They plan these psyops on you, on real humans. Here's a comment from a real woman, I'm guessing. I've been bullied a lot by people in my school. I think that they are trans. They called me thunder thighs. They have a beauty regimen where they shave their face and they walk very weird where they stick their butt out. Yeah, that sounds like MTF. And that's real men get shamed all the time. Oh, you're so skinny. Oh, you're so skinny. They want to shame you for being what real men should be, which is lean. Real men have low body fat, but training land, everything's backwards. They want to teach you that men are pudgy. That's fake. That's training land nonsense. Real men are lean. And then it's the opposite. If you're a real woman, they'll shame you all the time. Oh, you're too fat. And it's really ridiculous that dick girls. So I like I like the name dick girls for FTM. Because, yeah, a lot of them, they have a penis, whatever. So... A lot of time these these free martins, these FTM, dick girls, whatever you want to call them, they shame regular women for being fat even though they're a fat ass. It's like you're supposed to be a man but you're fat and you're over here shaming me for being – and they'll shame women that aren't even fat. They just want you to think that your normal natural body is not correct. Here's another comment. I'll kind of just try to skim through it and give you the idea. Uh, Oh, so this is just a comment about over the holidays, they were planning things with friends, and one of their friends, MTF girlfriend, acts like a bitch, playing the victim card all the time. Every time that they would plan holiday stuff, this same person would ruin it for everybody. They would make it a huge bad mood for everybody conflicts about nothing and it should be fun and relaxing but they make it a whole big disappointment yeah that's just the way that these mtf act i've talked about this before my mtfx whenever we would go on vacations i'd be like okay this is the vacation it'll be nice it'll be great we'll get to have just a fun relaxing time no they would always make it about them and they would be all mopey and depressed and just make it a horrible time for everybody the same commenter they talked about being in a band And he says, so this is something that trannies always do. Once 
he started waking up and pointing out the trannies, this bandmate of theirs, this FTM bandmate, started talking about uh, Kabbalistic stuff, duality things, and they start being very anti-Christian. They just start throwing anti-Christian stuff at you all the time. And that's like, that's how my brother has been. It's not like my, my FTM brother. It's not like he always used to throw anti-Christian stuff at me when I wasn't Christian. But once I woke up to Transpocalypse and all of this, now it's just all the time with anti-Christ stuff. Yeah. And uh, this person always also talked about how apparently a lot of the bands in their area would get together in the woods and have a little powwows. Yeah, all these trainings, they work together. The way the hive works. Another thing is from another commenter, and this is another thing that real men d have dealt with. If you're a real man when you're young, the trannies they try to get you to cross dress. I've heard this from many, many commenters now. If you're a real man, they'll try to get you to cross dress and they try to get you to be homo. And that's just the way it is because they want you to go to hell with them. They know that they're going to hell, and that's just something that they've accepted. That's why they go so over the top with the evil, because they're just like, well, I'm going to hell, so I'm going to go all out with it. And what they try to do is they try to drag regular humans with them into hell. And so one big thing that they do for real men, they try to get real men to cross-dress, which they know God hates. They try to get real men to be homo. And that's something that now many, many people have brought this up to me. Hey, when I was young, my family tried to get me to cross-dress. That happened to me too. They tried to get me to cross-dress. All right, those are just some ideas. I'll just keep this video very short. Uh, again, I'm really interested in what you guys have to say. God bless everybody.